Okay, we got a AFB Carter, 625 CFM. This one here is for Ford. See the little Ford stuff here? This is for your kickdown deal. This is a 9627. They make them in a 9637. And um, they make them also with a pipe sticking out there for emission. So this one happens to be one without it. That's, uh, I don't know, some cars want to have that emission thing sticking out, some don't. This one don't. We're going to crank it up. We're going to have an air-fuel ratio set right there at 12 parts of air to one part of gas. We want you to set your timing at 30 degrees at 3,000 RPM. We want you to put in line filter. We want you to have three pounds pressure on the fuel pump at all times in the start. We've got an electric choke right here. When you get this thing, if the temperature gets below 45, you loosen up those three screws. Turn that plastic there, easy, till that choke goes there. Get that right there. Tighten them three screws back up. Plug your hot wire on here. Off the key. And uh, you'll be ready to go. You don't want it on all the time. Now, as this car is accelerated, the mixture is going to thin out. See it? It'll go up to atmospheric pressure. 14 around here. We're at sea level. Okay. Warning. Never use carburetor cleaner, starting fluid, diesel starting fluid, propane, or any other item to prime a carburetor with. You, first of all, you'll eat the paint off, you'll eat everything off, you'll eat the powder coating, which is what this is. You'll eat the finish off the thing, and you leave it susceptible to rust. Plus, you'll also maybe blow a piston in your engine, because it produces way too much compression. If you want to check for leaks, get your oil can like this. Put some gas in there, the same kind you put in there. And then just squirt it around here, around here for leaks. If you got the wrong gasket or the bolts or a bad intake, it'll change. But if everything is okay, there'll be very little change. It may be a slight change here, but you don't have anything like that to measure it with. A lot of carburetor problems get blamed on uh, rear shafts and front shafts leaking. Most of that, 90% of that's bullcorn from out in the barnyard. That's because they can't find anything else. Because those shafts got to be loose. See that there? That's got about seven thousandths play out around. I mean, uh, with an indicator. And as you can see, it runs perfect. Tunes perfect. This is your idle screw. Now, if you if you want something different, now this is electric choke. You can get them with manual choke. If you if you absolutely have to have one for an emission vehicle, you need to tell us. Don't buy this one and then get mad that you won't pass the mission. But this one here is going to be a non-emission type situation.